Well, hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick video explaining um, how we set up um, our computers for keys on Sunday mornings. Um, we're essentially going to be using MainStage as our MIDI host and sending MIDI to uh, contact through it. So let me just give you a quick overview of how to get all of that open and set up. Uh, first things first, you want to start with everything being plugged in, so your interface, your keyboards, um, however you have all that set up, make sure it's all plugged in before you start opening anything. And the first thing you want to open is your um, your interface software. So if it's a Scarlet uh, series, you know, the Mix Control, if it's the Focusrite um, Thunderbolt like we have here in Cherry Hill, um, or iConnectivity, iConnect Audio 4, whichever interface you have, just open that up um, and load whatever settings you need to. If it's a preset one for um, for worship, I always just with this guy say load from device and make sure that the clock source is internal. I basically just have my four DAW um, outputs going directly to my four outputs on the interface. So that's first. The second thing that I want to do is I want to open contact. Um, the reason we're using contact right now, uh, a lot of times we run pianos inside of main stage. They're you know, heavily affected with delay and reverb and when we're doing that, it doesn't matter that the piano is the, the best sample per se um, because you're heavily affecting it and ultimately it, it ends up not sounding much like a piano anyway. So um, when we're doing that kind of thing, we run everything in main stage. Um, but if we want like a really great piano sound, we love the Alicia's Keys plugin. So we'll open contact um, and I want to open contact first so that when I open main stage, main stage sees it and can send the audio to it. So I'm going to open contact. And when this loads up, you know, I can either go over to my library and open Alicia's Keys or I actually have uh, a setting saved here, files load recent and this these are multis and I just want to load my piano default what my piano default is going to do is actually going to load up Alicia's keys but you can also see it changed my outputs here to one and one um, so I'm taking the left side of Alicia's keys and the right side of Alicia's keys and sending both of them to output one and um, because that's where our piano output is so I'll let that keep loading and while that's loading now I'm going to open main stage and uh, essentially, all of my keyboards are going to go into main stage and then from main stage go into contact. Um, so, uh, the date today is the 21st of February. So, I'm going to open this up. And when this concert loads, I'll show you the external instrument track that we're using. Um, yeah, so this. This patch right here, the piano and pad, there's a pad that's being run inside of main stage. There's also an external instrument that's running to Contact 5's virtual input, and it's going over there on channel 1. So I want to make sure that my piano is set up to receive it in contact on channel 1 and only through the virtual input, not through any other input. I'm going to go into Contact, go to my options here. I'm going to do two things start with a MIDI. I want to make sure everything is off except for my virtual input because I don't want it to receive inputs from my keyboards when I don't want it to. So that's correct. I've got this coming in on port A and you can see my MIDI channel is set to 1. While I'm here I'm just going to make sure my audio is set up correctly. So the device that I'm using is the Focusrite Thunderbolt and I've set it to 256 samples um, so that I have a, a lower latency. You want to make sure your sample rate is the same across the board as well. So 48k here, if I look at my interface software, my device settings, sample rate 48k. And then the same thing in main stage. Go to main stage preferences, 48 kilohertz, my output device is Focusrite Thunderbolt. So once you've got all of that set up, you know, making sure both of your audio outputs are set to Thunderbolt, making sure that your MIDI is being sent to only to the virtual input for the nice piano. Um, and then also, um, again, your MIDI is only receiving on virtual input. You should be good to go. If I test this out, you can see uh, it's making noise. And uh, then you can just go ahead into your layout and um, assign things like you normally would. So that's basically it. That's how we get set up.
uh, with our keys rig. Um, hope you have fun.